hello student today we'll see calculation to generate square wave with timer 1 in earlier lecture we have studied control register for timer 0 and timer 1 T1 con is timer 1 control register. We have to configure T1 con register from SFR. We can upload count value into T1 con register. RD16, if it is 1, then it use 16 bit data. If it is 0, then it will break this count into 88 bits unimplemented that's why I take another 0 then T1 CK this 2 bits for prescaler now I don't want any prescaler so I choose 0 0 then I'm not using any external clock frequency I'm using internal clock frequency that's all 3's are 0, 0. This is for ex external oscillation enable. If it is 1, then it enable the external clock. If it is 0, then it shut off the external clock. Synchronization, if it is 0, then it will be ignored. Here, if it is 1, then use external clock frequency. If it is 0, then it use internal frequency, internal clock frequency divided by 4. If it is 1, then we have to give external clock frequency using function generator or clock pulse generator on RC4 or T1 oscillator that is clock input TA timer 1 or clock output timer 1. Then I have to turn on the timer so we have to keep this bit once because we have to turn on the timer 1 for the delay generation. So the count will be 0 cross 0 1. Now we want square wave with frequency 2500 Hz with crystal frequency 10 MHz. So we have to do some calculation. F oscillator is equal to 10 MHz divided by 4. By 4 because the machine cycles are 4. So internal clock frequency is divided by 4. So Time will be 1 upon f. We know the relation between the time and frequencies, vice versa. So we got 0 0.4 microseconds. Square wave of 2500 Hz, it gives the 400 microseconds time. So your count will be, after calculation, it count will be 500. So it is 16 bits. That's why we have to take a 2 raised to 16 is 65,536 minus 500 it will gives hex value this hex value we have to store into tmr1h and tmr1l now we will see c language program now i want to show the square wave on port b first pin port b first pin so i have to define one variable port b bits dot rb1 now our main program will start trees bits dot trees b1 is equal to 0 what is mean by it i already explained that if it, if you are assigning 0 that means that port or pin single bit will be output you are assigning it is as a output you can interface led or you can see on oscilloscope the square wave generation then I want continuous square wave. So the while loop is while one is continuous looping. Now my bit is toggle with one, it gives with time delay. Here it call function t1 delay. In t1 delay function, I have to write down a subroutine. In that subroutine, we have to call this t1 con as a 16 bit without prescaler so count will be 0 1 so earlier we have already calculated these two count 
then now i have to turn on the timer in earlier lecture i have explained that in this register in this sfr each bit is bit addressable single bit we can set or reset here but here i have set this bit turn on the timer now while pir1 bits dot tmr1 if this bit from pir1 interrupt register this bit is from t pir1 interrupt register what it does it observe the overflow if the overflow is there when it start from 0 0 to this this count if it goes the count goes beyond this value it will raise the count if it raise the count uh, raise this flag it reset the timer and reset this count stop the timer again it reload this count and it will start once again so first we have to check the loop if it is zero then it will stop the timer over here it will hear this instruction it will observe this if it is zero zero then it stop the timer then again it makes it zero and your loop will continue thank you student